Hey guys, back. More Jaws of the Lion. Now that I have these cool freaking mechs and extra minis that I'll hopefully be able to use. Um, the last scenario, I didn't really get to use the Void Warden special card at all. Um, uh, so I'm hoping to use it this scenario. Also, the Demolitionist now has this freaking awesome mech upgrade, which I haven't had time to paint yet, but I'm super excited about it. So, um, we're playing uh, scenario 12, Beguiling Sewers. Um, uh, there was like two choices, 11 or 12. One of them's in a nicer district. One of them's in a poorer district. I just decided to do 12 just for kicks and giggles. But uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, before that, though, uh, we bought a couple things. So the hatchet is going to is used 40 gold to buy stun powder and the amulet of life and then he gave the stun power to the demolitionist and the amulet of life to the void warden so we've got a bunch of heals going on we got some stun powder uh, that we can use which is going to be powerful for the demolitionist i think um so we'll we'll just see how it goes um so that's all purchased uh we've leveled every, everyone's now level five which makes the difficulty still level three uh for that um but let's do a city event and then let's dive in <clears throat> a black plume of smoke twists through the air over the center of town. You follow to find a crowd gathering along the silent bridge, cheering and clapping. Pushing to the front, you see two enormous mechanical butterfly wings strapped to a small quatrille. Today, the quatrilles conquer, quatrilles conquer the sky. He pushes a button on his chest, causing the wings to start flapping and move smoke and more smoke to pour out. The wings pick up speed, blasting gusts of air across the onlookers. With a wide smile, he rises up before tumbling down into the river with a dramatic splash. Dive in to help the Quatrell or hold back the crowd in case the machine explodes. Uh, I'd, I'd say we dive in for sure. Um, you dive through the billowing smoke and into the frigid water. The Quatrell's limbs are tangled in the wreckage of his wings, but you... You're able to pull him free and make slow progress towards the riverbank. His eyes open wide when he realizes who saved him. The, the, the Jaws? Oh, wow, I'm a big fan. And while you can't be sure if it was the impact or meeting, or meeting you, he passes out. Nevertheless, you saved a life today. Gain 10 XP each. Nice. Um, as the wreckage, uh, or if we didn't do that, uh, as the wreckage burns in the river, the inventor's limp body washes up on the riverbank. The concerned crowd looks on it in silence, fearing the worst. Suddenly, the Quatrell's eyes open. It worked, he shouts. He sits up and begins tinkering with the bits of machinery still strapped to his chest. I know exactly how to fix that. A few more adjustments and I'll be soaring over the copper necks. That's funny. Uh, so I think we chose correctly that. Um, that in here. And then we each gain 10 XP, so that's amazing. So Chuck's at 266 now. We're so close to level 6 already. Um, Demolish is at 230. And Void Warden's at 236. Cool. Okay. So with that, let's do battle goals real quick. Two, one, two, one, two. All right, hatchet first. Egoist, collect more money tokens than any other character, or saddest, kill five or more monsters. I think egoist because they usually gather more coins than anybody else. So, okay. Uh, demolitionist, opener, kill the first monster to die in the scenario. Shadow, end each of your turns adjacent to any of your allies. I'm going to do opener, and we can game that for sure. Okay, and then the Void Warden. Shirker, kill a monster not adjacent to you while you are adjacent to another monster. Die hard. Never allow your hit points to drop below half your maximum hit point value rounded up. I think I'm going to do die hard because she usually hangs back to the back. And I hopefully will never be adjacent to a monster. So, okay, with that, let's, uh, let's do, let's read the description here, the introduction. Uh, 12 beguiling sewers gold destroy all pillars okay the travelers district uh, where the wealthiest merchants of the city live in their giant estates 
is certainly the nicest part of Bloomhaven. You're skeptical that an area policed so heavily by the city guard would be breeding ground for occultists, but as the captain said, the guards rarely patrol the sewers, so it's possible something untoward is happening down there. When you enter, you're apprised at how immaculate the tunnels are. Something is off. Sewers shouldn't be this clean. Yep. And you feel a strange energy emanating from the pillars in this room. Looking closely by torchlight, you see a small circular rune scribed over them. Some trickery is definitely at work, and the only thing you can think to do is smash the pillars and uncover what is really going on. Special rules. The objectives are pillars. Each one has one plus L, so that's four times three C, okay? So 12 hit points. Uh, each time after they are attacked, the attacker suffers L divided by two plus one. So three divided by two. Uh, so that's one and a half plus one is two and a half. So three damage. Okay, so let's let's do this. So they're going to suffer three damage. That's our reminder. And they're at 12 hit points. So we're going to go. Um, three, six. Three, six. That's nine. 10, 11, 12. Okay, we'll just pile those up on top. Twelve. Okay. I have enough. Nine. I need three more threes. One. Two. Oh, no more looks like. Okay. Two, three. There we go. All right. So each has 12 hit points. And then whenever we attack, we do damage to ourselves, which that's great. So we're going to need to have the heaviest hitters only. Um, when either of the left two pillars are destroyed, spawn one living corpse into onto A. Okay. Uh, normal for two characters, elite for three or four characters. So it's going to be elite corpses. When either two right pillars are destroyed, spawn one living corpse at B. Normal for two or three characters, elite for four or five. So normal, so elite and normal. When all the pillars are destroyed, read one. Okay, okay. All right, well, with that, um, let me decide what cards I'm going to uh, uh, play for our starting round and where we're going to position, um, and then we'll uh, go from there. All right, I think I've decided. Um, so the hatch is going to go on 15, the demolitionist is going to go on 80, and the Void Warden at 83. No, 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 68. Okay, hatch it first. So they're going to play two build cards. So they're going to do the new favorite. So that's done. They get two XP for that. And then they're going to play the bottom of Overwatch. So that's the next five times an enemy ends a move ability within range five before attack to range five. So that is not for now, but that's for when stuff starts spawning. Um, now we're going to use the bottom of mech suit to move to. Hmm, I'm wondering which one should I take out first? Yeah, probably that one. And then the top of level. Uh, attack three, add plus three to the attack and gain one XP if the target is an objective. That's an objective. So I gain an XP. And let's see. Um, how can I boost this here? Um, I don't think I can poison the pillars. I don't think that's a thing. Um, I could get advantage on it. Let's do advantage. So let's use our eagle eye goggles. Okay, here we go. Plus one, plus zero. So that's six, seven damage. Six, seven damage. Okay, now we take three. 
Yikes. Okay. And then, so that's that. I'm going to do this. Put it right there, maybe. Okay. Um, ouch. Okay, so we're still at five. Oh, man, that's a lot of hit points right there. Mm. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I did that completely backwards. Uh, I don't think I needed to use this. I think we can still keep it because the Void Warden was supposed to go first. Sorry about that. Uh, Master Influence, put that as the build. And then the bottom of um, Wicked Scratch, uh, Loot 1, Strength and Range 3. So we're strengthening the Demolitionist. So then the Demolitionist came in, got advantage, right? So we'll strengthen, okay? They got advantage on that attack, so they didn't need to use their eagle-like goggles. I was like, I know I have it. I was planning on doing advantage, but I couldn't remember how. But there you have it. Okay. Um, now, next round. Oh, do, do, next round. Okay, let's pick cards, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think this will work. Um, so let's go 60 for the hatchet. Void Wardens at 72, and the Demolitionists at 22. Doesn't really matter right now. Demolitionist goes first. We're going to use the top of Crushing Weight. Um, and then, let's see, three, four, five. Ugh, we can't do it. Let's let's burn our Eagle Eye Goggles on this one. So with advantage, come on, times two or something. Plus zero plus one so that's four more damage so it's at one hit point oh, that sucks they take three more damage ten nine eight this is gonna be a problem they're gonna use their healing potion to go back up three nine ten eleven okay um then let's see we are going to use the bottom. Oh, man. We're going to use the bottom and knock out the support, plus our weathered boots to move three. One, two, three. Okay. There's a reason for that. We'll get to it in a minute. Um, Hatchet's turn. So I'm going to use the bottom of double throw, double the value of your next attack this round. We get an XP. Um, oh, Earth goes up because of the top of knockout, the support. Um, okay, that's that. Then uh, we're going to use the top of power pitch. So we gain two more XP using double burn, but I think it's going to be worth it because of uh, double power pitch. Attack six, range three. So that's 12. We're going to use um, our eagle eye goggles. So with advantage. Minus one, plus one. So uh, 13, so that kills this pillar. Which I think is going to be worth it. We want to use big cards. 14, 13, 12, 11. So they're going to do 11 hit points now. That's destroyed. And an elite uh, spawns right there. So let's add him in. One. Okay. All right. Move one, attack six. Okay, so they're all everybody's out of range for that right now. So that's good. Hatchet's good. Void Warden. We're going to use the top of Close the Abyss, heal two, range two, target two. So all, both of those were thrown two, so we heal both. One, two. One, two. All right, and then we're going to use the bottom of Gift of the Void to heal two, range three. Um, we're going to heal the Demolitionists for two. Oh, but they only go up one. It's okay. 13, 14, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, Void Warden's done. It's going to move one. Attack six. Next round. So I think with the Demolitionist, I'm going to short rest because I want to get that level card back.
Oh, mech suit? Oh, no. Um, crushing weight. Looks like that one's gone. Okay. All right, now I'll pick. Shoot, I forgot. Um, the, uh, the living corpse moved, so my overwatch triggers. Let's just resolve that real quick. So it's attack two, plus one in wound. So three, two, three, and they're wounded. Okay, perfect. Sorry. Okay, this might be cool. I've Googled this, so we'll, we'll find out what happens here. 24 for the hatchet, 37 for the demolitionist. Wood Warden's a 23. Okay, Wood Warden first. Okay, so I've Googled this, and there's nothing that prevents the Void Warden from causing an enemy to attack an objective. Okay, so... Suggestion, top of suggestion, force one enemy within range four, one, two, three, four, to perform a, oh shoot, one, two, three, oh dang it, um, I messed up, um, shoot, let me pick a different card real quick, because I messed this up, I'll keep the 23, but the other one I just want to pick. Okay, sorry. Um, so I swapped out. I had another card that would do like a bottom grant uh, action, but it was out of range. So I, I uh, had forgotten that that was, that was range three and not range four. So I swapped it out real quick. Anyways, suggestion. Force any one enemy within range four to move three with you controlling the action. Attack three, targeting an enemy of your choice adjacent to them. That's a burn card. We gain two XP. So they're going to move three. Doop. And they're going to attack. They burn... Earth, they get advantage on the attack, plus zero, plus zero. So that is um, three damage. So they destroy that objective. So another elite corpse shows up. One takes three damage. Corpse number two shows up. Okay. All right. And then the bottom of crushing cold, move three, metal range three. We're going to go... One, two, one, two, three. So, um, muddle. Two is muddled. Uh, do I want to do that? So, she was here, right? Here. Yep, one, two, three, four, yeah. Here, one, two, three. Well, we'll get an attack then for five if we do that. Um, let's not, let's go one, two, three, and then we'll muddle nothing, but, uh, that still goes up. Okay. So muddle goes off, void warden's done, hatchet's next. Uh, so we're going to, um, well, shoot, um, I kind of messed this one up, dang it. Oh, I can do it, I can do it this way. Um, so we're going to move three, we're just going to move, actually, we're going to move right here. One, two, three, yep. Move three, heal one, range one, earth goes up. That's a bottom of care package. So demolitionist is going to get healed for one. And then the top of center mass, attack three, range three, one, two, three. Okay. Plus one, four damage. Three, four. Okay, they take three damage. Okay. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I was, I was going to use Power Potion as well, so I forgot to do that. Um, I'll go ahead and add that in. I shouldn't be doing this. Um, so that would have been one more down. I need to call that beforehand, but I keep forgetting. Okay, um, so that's the Hatch's turn. And then we're going to use... Um, the bottom of the big one to move three. One, two, three. It's right there. And then the top of level, uh, attack three, add plus three to the attack and gain XP if the target's an objective. Gain XP. And we attack for six. Eight. And that goes up. Three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Oops. So they are, it is dead. Objective is done, and I made a mistake because <laughs> we gain we 
summon a regular corpse, which is now going to move and attack the Void Warden. Ooh. Um, I guess we could have moved her wherever. Oh no, it's too late. We already moved her there. Yeah, I think that's just going to be it. Um, okay, let me... Okay, chain. That guy goes here. Okay, so now... This guy takes a wound. Um, and then he moves to... One, two. He moves to... One, two two and then the regular one moves one we're gonna attack the void warden for five damage six damage okay we are going to oh you know what we can do oh no it's too late it's during your turn um so we're gonna burn a card i think uh, which one do we want to burn Oh, shoot. And before, let, let me just burn this card real quick and then. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the last journey. Um, but. Uh, all these guys moved. So, Overwatch, again, I keep forgetting, gets triggered. So, one's going to get triggered. Uh, so, it's two damage to one, two. Uh, Two is going to get triggered, two damage, and one, three is going to get triggered, crit fail. Okay. That's three, one, two, three. We gain an XP. Whoop. Okay. Man. This is an interesting encounter. I'm not convinced we're going to win this one. Um, oh, and we can. Let's let's throw our axe. Hmm. Let's throw our axe at two. So two is going to take three more damage. Okay. All right, we lost the last journey to negate damage from taking that six damage. Perfect. Um, that's the end of their turn. Next round, we pick cards. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've picked. Um, this is hard. Like, trying to mitigate damage is, is really hard. Uh, 31. Um, 33 for the Demolitionist. And 26 for the Void Warden. Uh, the problem is that Okay, so they're going to move one, or move zero, or move one. Good. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, so the, the, you know the problem is you you're you're tempted to burn your big cards, your burn cards, to kill these objectives, um, but then you're exhausting. I mean, this seems too easy for me. Um, I bet you something happens when when we destroy the last pillar. Um, so I'm worried, I'm really worried about exhausting because I'm using all my burn cards right now, but we'll see what happens. Um, so we're going to use the Void Wardens first. We're going to use uh, Resign Frenzy. So we're going to move four. One, two, three, four. We're going to go just all the way back in the corner. Oh, actually, one, two, three, four. First, we're going to uh, place, use the top of steadfast and we're going to place our token right there it's considered an obstacle for our purposes okay so i don't think i can put it there um and put it right there um it's considered all enemies that enter a hex objective oh that enter a hex ad uh, adjacent to the war gain poison all enemies gain disadvantage on all their attacks not granted by you uh, while within range three of the ward. Okay, so I get two XP for that. Uh, Earth goes up. Um, and then, let's see, so I think that three would immediately gain poison. I'm reading that right. Okay, and then that is another build card. 
It's another burn, basically. Okay. All right, Hatchet's turn. Uh, I am going to use the top of repeat shot, attack three, range three, plus the attack and gain an XP if the target has your favorite token. So gain an XP, attack for three, four, five. We're attacking this guy, five plus zero, five damage to him. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I'm going to oh, see. So yeah, I was going to use the bottom of Fearsome Efficiency to attack one range three, um, but I'm actually going to move two now instead, just to base move two, because that'll get me out of range from those six damage attacks. Okay, now the Demolitionist. Um, I'm going to, oh, sorry, and then, sorry, the Void Warden, two, three, four, four. After we place that, moved. Okay, um, now... Uh, I'm going to use the bottom of robotic enhancement to move four. One, two, three. Okay, and then um, I'm going to use the top of nowhere to run. Attack four, add plus one to the attack for each wall hex, obstacle hex, objective, figure, or trap adjacent to the target. So four, five, six. It's two XP. It's a burn card, though. Okay, so that's six. Um, yep, six plus one, seven damage. Six, seven damage. I'm gonna take three, 11. Okay, all right. And now the living corpse, this guy takes a damage. Um, these guys are gonna move one, one. So it's going to move zero, All right? One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're going to move towards the. Okay, end of the round. I'm going to short rest with the demolitionist again. The big one is gone. It's just not level. Okay, I'm gonna short rest with the Void Warden real quick. Um, crushing Cold is gone. Okay. Uh, 25 for the Hatchet, 33 for a Demolitionist. Void Warden, uh, 72. All right. Oh, no. Attack 6 and 7. Push 1. If this is performed, the corpse suffers 1 damage. Okay. I'm a little worried about this. So here's my plan. I was going to use the bottom of retrieval to move in here, and then the top of close cuts to attack three and attack both of them. They're at four hit points. So if I don't kill, the one will die at the beginning of the round. The other one, if I get a negative or a zero even, they'll still be alive and they'll attack me for seven. So I think I'm going to use the barbed axe. And this, uh, during your attack, add wound to the entire attack action. Okay. So then I use the bottom of retrieval to move. And then the top of close cuts. Again, XP. All right. Let's do which one feels better. So I'm going to wound him. Doesn't matter. One first. Times two. Dead. Good. Come on, no negative, no negative, plus two, dead. Whew, sweet. Okay. Good. 
was a little worried about that one when they did that a six seven okay all right within corpse's turn he's just gonna attack there's nothing to attack demolitionist turn we're gonna use the top of level attack three at plus three to the attack and gain xp if it's an objective so attack for six plus two that does it take three damage 11 10 9 they go down to eight and then they're going to use the bottom well, hold on um they're going to use the bottom robotic enhancement to do nothing uh but let's let's read because something happens because this is now destroyed As the last of the pillars falls, the wall, the far wall flickers in and out of sight, and two archways suddenly appear, leading into a darkness beyond. A strong smell of death reaches your nostrils. A strange purple mist creeps at the edge of your vision, and more strange energy emanates beyond. Open the supplemental scenario book to page 10. Attach it to this, to this spread as the map layout on the page shows. Place an activation token on each hex. See, these are now open doors between the room on this page and the two separate rooms in the supplemental book. The new objectives are more pillars. Each one has hit points, and each time they're attacked, the attacker suffers great. When all pillars are destroyed, the scenario is complete. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Um, okay. Well, let me go set that up, and I'll be right back. Okay. Back. Um, wow. Wow. It's a lot of enemies and two more objectives. So the goal is to destroy all the pillars. Man, and there's uh, um, difficult terrain there too. This is rough. Um, okay, well, so now robotic enhancement. I'm gonna move four. One, two, three. Actually, four. We'll move right there. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Move to one. Okay, so they can't they can't get off of this because they're not flying. And then one, two, three. So they'll be out of range. Hmm. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do. So the plan. I think I'm gonna move there. I think the plan's going to be the demolitionist is going to come in here, going to bulk up, kill that objective, and then the hatchet is going to go in this way because they have they are not elite, so they have less attacks, um, and then hopefully be able to take that objective out at range without without getting too destroyed. I think that's going to be the goal. So with the bottom robotic enhancement, I'm going to move right there. Okay, now um, this is the demolitionist turn. Uh, the living corpses, the rest of them, attack six, push one, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't happen. Wood Warden's turn now. We're going to um, close the abyss, top of it, heal two, range two, target two. So he goes up, demolitionist goes up two, and then the bottom of Gift of the Void, heal two, range three. One, two, so they go up two again to 12. Um, and then, let's see, 12, 13, 14, two hit points. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it, because I think the Void Warden's going to try to stand back. So let's do uh, Ring of Restoration. During your turn, perform a heal three, range five action. So that puts Demolitionist back up to 14. Tops them off before they run in there. Okay, here we go. All right, Void Warden. These guys are going to move two, one, one, two, attack one, two, three, range three, one, two, three, nothing. Um, heal oneself. Snow goes up. These guys are going to go one, two, one, because they can't go through this because they're not flying. Okay, next round. Um, hatchet is going to hmm i don't think we have enough time i was going to say they could 
wait until these guys get up in here and then shoot, sneak around, but they're going to just have to... Um, they're just going to have to short rest. Okay, close cuts. That's all right, I think. All right. Uh, the Demolitionist. I have four cards left, so they're not going to short rest, and the third one has plenty. Okay, pick cards, bear back. Oh, I need to shuffle here. Woo! Right. Okay. okay, there's that. Demolitionist. Still hasn't done a hundred times two or anything. Okay. All right, now I'll pick cards. Okay, this should be really interesting. 24 for the hatchet. Demolitionist is a 17. Void Warden. Actually, you know what? I wonder. No, it doesn't matter if they're both really fast. 68 for the Void Warden. Okay, Demolitionist first. Hmm, that's going to mess up. Okay, good. The living corpses are just going to... Do that. Okay, all right. Well, here we go. Bottom of extra fuel. Move five. Uh, one, two, three, four. Top of knock out the support, and I'm going to use my... Um, let's see, are these guys are elite eight hit points. Um, sure, why not? We're going to use our battle axe and our poison dagger. Um, so we're going to do the battle axe during our single target melee attack ability to turn the attack into the following. We're going to hit those guys. And we're going to use our poison dagger during your melee attack, add poison to a single attack. Um, so we'll, I'll poison one of them. Poison one, and we'll stun the other. How about that? We'll use our stun powder, too. Okay, so let me leave all this up so I can remember. We'll poison one and stun the other. Okay, so then we're going to use the top and knock out the support. Um, attack three. All heals targeting the target have no effect this round. To see them at this, place one of your character tokens on the target. Earth goes up. So I'm going to attack for three. Um, okay, so number one first. One is goes down three. One, two, three. And they are going to be uh, poisoned. Okay, and then two is going to get attacked. Crit fail, but I'm going to stun them. Ugh, that sucks. Okay. That was not nearly as cool as I thought it was going to be. Um, okay. Um, and do I need to infuse anything here? Yes, I'm going to use my mana potion during your turn. Infuse one element. So all these are gone. I'm going to infuse darkness. Ooh. Okay, this demolitionist turn. Hatchet. <laughs> Not going to be much right now. Hatchet. Uh, we're going to use the bottom retrieval to move one, loot one, move one. Loot these. Okay, and then we're going to use the top of center mass to attack three, range three. We're going to attack the regular guy. Uh, oops, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And they're muddled. Oop, and they're poisoned too, so they would gain another one. Um, I am not going to use my hatch it on him um, okay all right cool and it's the hatchet's turn living spirits uh, two is stunned one is going to uh, move back one okay and then they're going to attack for four damage three damage one two three so the delicious goes down to 11. Um, these guys are going to move 
Oh, geez. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. They're all out of range. Okay, Void Warden's turn. Um, okay, so this knockout the support doesn't matter because they didn't heal themselves, so I can put that back now. All right, now we're going to use the bottom of Commanding Presence. Move four. One, two, three, four. Curse self. Uh, if we burn darkness, we ignore the curse. One ally within range three. We have to fall in move three. Is that what I wanted to do? Yes. So I'm going to jump here. Okay, so that was the bottom of Commanding Presence. Then the top of Wicked Scratch. One ally within range two may perform attack three. Gain XP. Darkness goes up. And we are going to attack the objective. Times two. Six. So they start out with three plus level. Six times three is 18 hit points. Uh, so they go down to 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're down to 12. No, wait, right. Hold on. 3 plus level, 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. And then we just did 6 damage. Um, yes, yeah, so we're down to 12. Oof, man, these guys, this is, these pillars are rough. Um, we take three damage. Hold on just a second. Level divided by two. Three divided by two is one and a half plus one is two and a half. So three damage, so they'll take three damage. Eight, okay. All right. Um, and then living corpses are going to move one. So... This guy is going to move one. This guy is going to move one. This guy is going to move one, but he can't. This guy is going to move one. So they all suffer just one damage. One, 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 one. Okay. Next round. Oops, Void Warden. Of course. Next round. Okay. Um, wow, this is going to be really hard now. Uh, I think that this objective will be fine. We'll bulk up next round here because um, we're at eight hit points. But then the hatchet's going to have to get all through these guys into here. So that's going to be interesting. The Void Warden's going to short rest as well, again, real quick. Wicked Scratch. Um, she might take a damage for that. Oh, also on her turn, she's going to use Fateful Compass. Um, and we're going to, during your turn, force one enemy within range three to form a move two. We're going to do one, two. And then we'll take a damage to keep Wicked Scratch, and we'll lose Commanding Presence. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, 58 for the Hatchet, 66 for the Demolitionist, and 72 for the Void Warden. We're so slow, we're probably going to get absolutely wrecked. Oh, holy cow. Dang it. Disarm. Nope. Okay. So. Ugh, dang it. So we're going to move two. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. So let's see. So if I moved here, this guy could see me, but this guy couldn't. So this guy, we go one to there. Um, so let's see, what do we have? Oh, we're just gonna we're gonna get it, and then the living spirit is gonna move one attack four. Okay, so 
we're gonna have to go one two see that's the problem and that's not bad I guess we're gonna get wrecked um, bottom of care package move three heal one range one this goes up we're gonna heal ourselves we're also gonna use our healing potion to heal three so we're back up to 14 okay and then we are going to actually let's do this let's go here and then we're going to oh shoot one two three Who's got the bigger damage? So all of them are four damage. Jeez. Sure, why not? Let's just do it. Uh, top of fearsome efficiency, attack three, range four. Oh shoot, I forgot to attack six, range four. We're gonna attack the, uh, the corpse. And we are going to, oh, you know what? Living Spirits. No, we're just going to do that. Okay, so we're going to detect the corpse for six, and we're going to use stun. Plus one and stun, dang it. <laughs> so seven to number six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they're stunned. Double stunned. Okay, and then I'm going to use studded leather when attack before drawing it. Okay, never mind. We can use this next. All right, demolitionist. We're going to use the um. Oh shoot! I kind of jacked that up. Uh, bottom of one-two punch. Um, to attack one, loot one. So we're going to attack the objective. Uh, one plus zero is one. Okay. Then we're going to use the top of mech suit. Uh, we're getting two XP. Shield one forever. <laughs> Pong, we add 10, so we're back up to 14. Oh, no, wait, increase by 5, so we're at 8, 18, because our max hit points is 19 now. Perfect. And then I'm going to use the chain armor to, sh during your turn, gain shield 1 for the rest of the round. Okay, now the living spirits. Um, they are going to. Um, we're going to do these guys first. They're just going to move. They're going to move back. Um, oh, shoot. I'm retarded. I forgot to use my Overwatch again. Um, I think we're out of range. Oh, three would have gotten the attack. Let's do, th let's resolve three real quick way up there. That was the last round plus zero. Um, is two poisoned, three dead. So he would have been dead. My last trigger of Overwatch would have done. Oh, again, XP. Okay, now, all right. So these two are going to attack. We're shielding for two right now. Um, yep, we're shielding for two. So uh, five damage, six damage, five damage, four damage. We're down to 14. And then two is going to attack. Five damage, crit fail. Nice. Um, okay, then these two are going to attack the hatchet. Uh, and we're going to impose disadvantage and shield one for the attack. So uh, for four damage, three damage, two damage because we're shielding. Okay, and then four damage, four damage. So we're down to eight. 
Yikes, this is bad. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Okay. All right. There's a living spirit's turn. Okay, living corpse. This guy's stunned. This guy is going to move one. Oh no, attack four. So four is going to attack times two, eight damage. We're going to, Void Warden's going to burn a card. We're going to exhaust. Um, let's get rid of, turn out the lights. This is bad. Um, okay, so we negated that. The mech is going to get hit for four, three, two, uh, one. Oh, none actually, because we shielded for the rest of the round. Okay, uh, that's that. The guy's stunned. Void Warden's turn. We're going to uh, use the top of Close the Abyss, heal two, range two, target two, heal themselves, nine, ten, eleven, and the Demolitionist for two, and then heal two, bottom of Gift of the Void, heal two, range three. We're going to go heal two. Okay. Next round. The hatchet is going to short rest. Oh no, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. There's no way. Oh no. We're going to lose. This sucks. Because the hatchet is going to tap out. Well, let's see what happens. Demolitionist is going to short rest again, hopefully for that level. Knock out the support is gone, and then the Void Warden is going to short rest as well. Oof, man. Yep. Oh. We're going to lose a hit point and gain this other one back. Okay, here we go. 24 for the hatchet. 61 for the mm, sixty-one for the demolitionist. Void Warden's at 26. There's no way we're going to get this done, guys. I'm sorry. Move to Metal and Immobilize. Target one adjacent enemy. So, Metal and Immobilize. So, both these guys... Mobilize, muddle. Mobilize, muddle. Okay, move to. Yep, that's it. We're done. Muddle, mobilize. Oh, and the target also suffers two damage. So we also suffer two damage. Six. Six. Two. All right, hatchet. This was my last straw. I was gonna use my wing shoes to move three, jump, um, to get over there, but now we can't. So we're just done. So we're gonna attack five, range three. We're gonna attack living spirit number four, minus two. So three damage to number four. One, two, three. Gain an XP. And goes up. And we're gonna use the top of center mass, attack three, range three. We're gonna do this again. Plus one, four damage, four is dead. And then the hatchet is going to exhaust after this. Um, okay. Void Warden is going to um, use the bottom of Wicked Scratch, the base action to move two, one, two. Okay, and then the top of Resign Frenzy, Force All Mace within range three, attack two, targeting you, your choice adjacent to them. One, two. These two are gonna attack this. <laughs> we gain advantage on the attack, and use our deck. Plus one, plus one, so that's, um, Uh, three damage. 
and then they take three. One, two, three. One is going to attack. Oh, with advantage. Oh, yeah, we did that. Uh, plus one, plus zero. So three more damage. And they take three. One, two, three. Okay, and then this guy is not going to attack anything. That guy's not going to attack anything. Um, oh, and he should have been a disadvantage because of that thing. Dang it. Uh, okay, living spirits. They're going to wreck stuff. Demolitionist is almost exhausted. Um, yeah, they're going to attack the Demolitionist for uh, four damage. That's four and three. That's seven. Takes him down to nine. Um, he's going to attack... Minus one, so that's two damage. Okay, then, oh, I guess we can do, nope, we can't actually. Then the Demolitionist is going to use the top of level to attack three and put, get an XP and plus three to the attack. So it's six with disadvantage because we're muddled. Plus zero, plus one, so six damage. So that kills that objective. They take three damage, and then a six, and then they're going to use the um, bottom of one two punch to move to one two. And yeah, I, we're at this point. The hatchet is done. We haven't even made it in the room. We have eighteen hit points to do. We have like two rounds left for the demolitionists and um, one round left for the void warden, and that's it. So. Um, yeah, dang it. Uh, well, that was a fun encounter. It's super hard. Um, I don't know how we could do it differently other than um, do smaller attacks with less damage, but then we take more damage for each of those attacks. So, um, so we'd have to do in turn more healing. So, ugh. Okay. Bummer. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, we will uh, see you guys next time to play Scenario 12 yet again, or we might switch to Scenario 11 and see how that one goes just as a change. Um, anyways, thanks again. Talk to you next time.